Last time on VVVVVV, I made the worst cliffhanger in history. In this episode, we're going to go into this shiny object. Uh, now, what you'll notice is that this will teleport you to random places on the map. I'm just opening and closing the map just to show you all these random places that it will go. This will basically teleport you to all the places where, where you couldn't really get to uh, because there's ground there. So, yeah. Uh, so now we're over here, next to the ship, which we previously couldn't get to. Now we're over here. Uh, so we're going to be going all over the place in this little section here. All these teleporters. So don't worry if you get lost. Uh, if you're playing along with me, then just follow where I'm going. Uh, and you should be okay. Uh, now here, uh, we have to explore this little big chunk. Um, there is a trinket here, uh, if you're not careful. Most of these rooms look the same, so as you can see if I fall through. Uh, as you can see, the colour is slightly different. And as you can see when I walk through there, the colour is completely the same. Uh, so try not to get confused as to where you are. Um, again, you can always just follow my, my walkthrough if you're playing at home. But anyway, here is a trinket, easily missable. Uh, if you get lost in this little maze thing. As you can see, we're all the way up there now. Um, and we've got a little bit of a thing here. Weird. Uh, we can go over here as well. And we'll see roughly the same thing. Uh, I'm just trying to fill up the map a little bit. Uh, explore that bit up there, which is obviously a dead end. Let's just go down. We... Trying to explore all this because I don't want to miss anything. Because missing stuff is bad. We've got a teleporter here, and as you can see, this is the entrance to the green section. So we'll just check we're not missing anything. Um, been down here yet? Okay, we're not missing anything. Let's go into the green zone. We haven't got a teleport there. Here we are. Green zone is very confusing. It basically involves just wrapping between the uh, same things. So as you can see, if you go around like that. Oh, oh, uh, oh! <laughs> I'm an idiot. Never mind. Here. Take the red pill! Because red pill is apparently safe. Uh, for some reason I thought that random string of numbers said safe. Short circuit and there's a load of people walking. So yeah, you can get pretty topsy-turvy for this. Um, if you don't know what you're doing. As you like it. I do like this. What are you on about? Maze with no entrance, as you can see, you have to go back through there. Um, now, I think all of these, once you go through the rooms, you can't go back um, because of how the screen wrapping works. As we up, go up, we go down. Yeah, this is really confusing. Uh, time to get serious. Okay. Obey. Uh, time right. There we go. Then we get that checkpoint there. So then we can go like that. And like that. There we go. Uh, Wheeler's wormhole. There's a little portal here. Ascending and descending, and we're pretty much near the end of this, which is really surprising. Uh, because uh, on your first time, this can be really long. Um, once you know what you're doing, then this is uh, pretty easy. Uh, this is just an infinite shoot, just in case you're wondering. Uh, there we go. Sweeney's maze. So there's a terminal here that's activated. The other hall. Day I was chased by down a hall. The there, there. The other J. The other J. The other day I was chased down a hallway by a giant cube with the word avoid on it. These security measures go too far. Go through here. Uh, don't want to go too fast. It's over here. Nothing. Of course. Mind the gap. Oh boy. 
Uh, that, this is pretty much luck, if you get it. There we go. Uh, edge games. There is a trinket up there. Really hard to get. Uh, the only way into my private lab anymore is by teleporter. I made sure that it's difficult for an authorized personnel to gain access. Interesting. Maybe that personal lab is what that blue thing is. Maybe it isn't. It, it totally is. Yeah, I'm not going to even bother trying to get the uh, trinket. Because it is that hard. The brown gate. Uh, there we go, that's what we have to do. See, even this area confuses me. To the back cave, and I die. <laughs> this will make you flip. Uh, to there, to there, to there. Twisty little passages. Uh, try not get confused with this. There we go. Okay, I love you. Oh, isn't that cute? And sweet. And cute and sweet. But the love hearts kill us, so watch out. Okay. So I love you- oh, pretty. Oh, I can't even get through this room! Uh. Come on. So this room is called I Love You. What is the next room to say? I love you. That's why I have to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this room is a nightmare to get through. Um, and I don't even- oh yeah, okay, I think I remember how to do it now. Go like that, ugh. Oh. oh no, never mind, um. Go like that. Go like that. And do that. And here we are! Captain, I've been so worried! Chief Verigis, you're okay. I've been trying to get out, but I keep going around in the circles. I've come from the ship. I'm here to tell you back to it. If, I, if someone else is right, is Violet? She's fine. She's back on the ship. Oh, great, great. Let's get going then. Green dudes can't flip, but they can walk through things. Murdering Twin Maker. And even though it's already up there, we can teleport. Let's do just that. Level complete. You've rescued a crew member. All crew members rescued. There we go. Welcome back. Uh, where's Captain Viridian? Hello? Is anyone there? Here we are. Temporary fall. Do not adjust the V-hold. Regular service will return shortly. I don't know why, but I like that. I kind of spoiled the move there. Um, but this is the last area of the game. This is no joke. This will test all of your skills. And it is ruthless. And I mean ruthless. Like, it is really hard. Um, don't, don't, it, I'm going to show you my death count, it's 223. I reckon that will double by the end of this, um, area, because it's just that hard, because I struggle with this a lot, and, you know, it's a final area, you would struggle with it a lot, um, unless you're like a speedrunner or something, in which case you probably skip this area entirely, you cheaters. So as you can see, there's no signal, um, so we have no sort of map, no clue where we're going, we're just going to have to follow uh, the room. The V Stooges, and this 
it gets really trippy here. Um, so try not to get confused. That is the only advice I can give you. I know it's kind of bad advice, but just try not, try not lose your bearings. There we go. On the waterfront. Dang it. Go. We're gonna flip, get that checkpoint. GVN smoke. Get that checkpoint there. Oh, I don't know why I've done that. Witched. Television newsreel. Now this! This! Is a nightmare. And I don't know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, for some reason you can go, you can go through here. Actually, what happens if you go through it? That's like a secret trinket. That'd be pretty cool. No, come on. There's probably like a secret here. And I want it. Actually, let's go through here. Oh, okay, it's just an alternate way to go. Okay. Um, I thought there was a secret there for some reason. But yeah, this bit here is a nightmare. Like, seriously. You have to, like, be dead on with it. And when you do that... Oh, good thing. it. When you do that, you got one of these things. But you know, you have to do that as well. And then you have to flip. And there's no checkpoints between the two of them. Which sucks. So yeah, when I said this area is not a pushover, it is not a pushover. I was not lying to you. Jeez. Okay. I kind of got this down. But I can't... Oh, that was so lucky. I don't know how I done that. Um, yeah. 1950 Silverstone Grand V. Ah, I get it. Grand V. And I died. Sorry for laughing at your jokes. Game. Dang it. Okay. Ugh. Go away, V repair. Uh, okay. Here we go. Nowhere else to go. Dimensional stability generator. Currently generating maximum stability. Status online. Ah! This must be what's causing the interference. I wonder if I can turn it off. Warning! Disabling the dimensional stability generator may lead to instability. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes! Seriously? The whole dimension could just collapse. Just think about this for a minute. Are you really sure you want to do this? Yes! Dimensional stabilizer offline. Uh oh. Here we go! We have to rush all the way back through this. Body time. We have to rush all the way back. As also no signal. We're going to be going through some rooms that we've been through before, but just really hard. Uh, so I don't know if you can recognize this room, but this is from the place where we just were. And Jesus Christ, I can't even get through it. Ugh. We're going to be going through some areas which we may which we may or may not have recognised throughout our journey. Just a lot harder now. And but seriously, a lot harder. Ugh, I can't through. Oh my god. And also accompanying, we've got some awesome music when I'm dying. Of course. Where would this game be where it's awesome music? Oh, come on. Yeah, when I said this last area was, was hard, I wasn't kidding. This is still the last area, by the way. And I think... 
Whoa, my deaths are going up. Um, come on. Bye. There's no time limit or anything, so don't worry. Don't panic. Uh, come on. Jeez, if there was a time limit, I'd be pretty screwed. Just suddenly the like, whole screen blows up. <laughs> Come on! Am I missing something here? Oh, I think I am. Yep. Totally was doing it wrong the whole time. Time slip. Oh god, this bit is tricky. Uh, I hate this bit. Come on, okay. No, come on. No. Oh. There we go. Nice. Freeze company. Yeah, remember this where you had to I completed the room on jumping? Yeah, now it's gotten a lot harder. And also the text is glitching out at the bottom. Do M for murder. Now we're going through this dimension again. As you can, I don't know, no actually, no, it's like changing the text from what it was when we first come here. Which is pretty cool. Alright, Cosmic Creepers. Ah, oh, come on. The villa people. Panic room! Yep, as if you thought the tower was wasn't done yet. Here we have one last water scholar. Just to make you angry. Yep. Hey. Oh no, come on. Why'd I do that? It's a simple water scholar, but it has no checkpoints, which is really aggravating. Wait, I don't wait. You get to the end, and then, you know, you die. Uh, I forget how you do this. No. <laughs> I forget how you do this room. Oh, I'm going to be here for a while. Just trying to figure this out. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Whoops. Didn't mean to press A there. But... Come on. No, I missed it. Yeah, that other block there is to fake you out. Don't get tricked. Come on. Technically, if you're quick enough, you could switch between them. In the margins. Again, the panic room. Good dang it, panic room. But yes, 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 yes. Uh, Heaven's Gate. I don't know why it's Heaven's Gate. Final challenge, as if one auto scroller was enough. They throw two of these bad boys in the final area. Yeah. Ugh. And this one is even worse. Ugh. I can't believe I have managed to do it. First try. The last straw. Here we go. This is it. The last trinket we find on our adventure. V. 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 And there we go. Game complete. And 13 trinkets. Beat it in 1 hour 7. 304 deaths. Oddish room was upstairs downstairs with 32 deaths. <laughs> Let's go.
Any moment now. Hello. Captain! You're alright. I knew you'd be okay. We were very worried when you didn't come back. But when you turned off the source of the interference, we were able to find you with the ship scanners and teleport you back on board. That was lucky. Thanks, guys. It looks like this dimension is starting to destabilize, just like our own. We can stay and explore for a little longer, but eventually it will collapse completely. There's no telling exactly how long we have here, but the ship's fixed, so as soon as we're ready, we can go home. What now, Captain? Let's find a way to save this dimension, and a way to save our home dimension too. The answer is out there somewhere. Let's go. And that is V V V V V V. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't come up on the screen, but I got an achievement for less than 500 deaths. So, yay! <laughs> so there we go, we have all the characters, and here are the people who made it. Made by Teddy, Terry Canova, with music by Magnus Pal Pallison. I'm butchering all these names. Rooms made by Bennett Foddy. C++ support by Son Roth. Beta testing by Sam Kaplan and Paulie Coinberger. An editing, ending picture by Coinbrook. And here are all the Patreons! Look at all these Patreons. They even have a studio on there. I rig mine studios. And Jade Vault Games, bro. Look at all these people that paid money. Paid money for a good game. There may be some game companies which you recognise on there. But anyway, thanks for playing. And speaking of that ending picture, here it is. The while it generates, I just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, this has been a great little game to let's play between projects. Uh, Paper Mario was really long, and this game kind of filled the gap. Uh, I w needed a short game to let's play, so I thought, why not VVV VVV? There's this ending picture, slowly loads, I just to say. The next LP will be something completely different. It'll be a series which I haven't covered before. A series which I like a lot. And it's pretty much on every platform. Well, not every platform, but most of them. It's an old game that has been ported to new systems, including PC, as well as Xbox and PlayStation. Some people might already know what it is, other people don't. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.